Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event. In the red corner, weighing in at 1.9 pounds, the current champion, the leader in SMB Firewalls with over 1.5 million sold worldwide, the Fortigate 60E. And in the blue corner, the challenger, the up and comer, the one focused on speed and SD WAN, weighing in at 1.9 pounds, the Fortigate 60L. Let's get ready to firewall! Alright you two, I want a good clean fight. Remember to take the top-down approach when following the firewall rules. No tunneling into each other's CLIs. And no inspecting traffic below the belt. 60E, are you ready? 60F, are you ready? All right, fight. Are oh, those anticlimactic? Anyway, Fortnite recently released the new F-Series of their firewalls. And a lot of times when a manufacturer puts out a new model, it's a bit confusing for customers. Is the new model better? Do I need to upgrade? What are the new features? So we decided to clear up some confusion and go over some of the differences between the Fortigate 60E and the new Fortigate 60F. Uh, in this comparison, we are going to cover speed. We're gonna talk about SD-WAN. We're gonna talk about the chipset, and then of course, security. So let's start with round one, speed. Now the 60E came out back in 2016. And this thing has been the reigning champ of speed ever since. It's got a firewall throughput of three gigabits per second. It has a thread protection throughput of 200 megabits per second and an NGFW throughput of 250 megabits per second, which made this thing perfect for either a small to medium sized business or even an enterprise branch location of about 25 users or less. But, the 60F crushes the 60E uh, when it comes to speed. The firewall throughput on this one is 10 gigabits per second. The threat protection throughput is 700 megabits per second. And the NGFW throughput is one gigabit per second. Now I'm gonna throw some additional specs on the screen, but the winner of the speed round is the 60F. Now, one of the things that Fortinet has always prided themselves on was developing their own chipsets. So instead of doing like a lot of other firewall manufacturers do and outsource to a third party to create their chips, Fortinet develops them in-house. So because of this, the 60E came with the SOC 3 chip or the third generation of the software on a chip. And what was really cool about this is because of the SOC 3 chip, Fortinet was able to put the CPU, the content processor, and the network processor all in the same chip. And by combining these onto the same chip, you had higher performance, less latency, and less power consumption, which was really cool. But the 60F, they've taken it a step further. Uh, with 60F, they have included the ASIC SOC 4 chip. Uh, biggest difference between the SOC 3 and the SOC 4 is the ASIC SOC 4 allows for application identification and steering of over 5,000 known applications. Uh, so this makes it ideal uh, for an SD-WAN setup and configuration. So because of the new chipset and the SD-WAN capabilities that have been added, this round also goes to the 60F. Gartner recently said that by 2024, over 60% of enterprises will be using SD-WAN. And why not? I mean, it's much cheaper than MPLS, and it's much easier to set up and configure. Now, the 60E does have SD-WAN capabilities. And with the release of Forda OS 6.2, uh, 
uh, it made it even easier uh, to set up SD-WAN on these devices. Not only that, but the 60E also has dynamic path selection over any WAN transport. So that way you can provide a better application experience. However, the 60F was designed for ST-WAN. Um, as I mentioned previously, uh, it does have that ASIC SOC4 chip, which allows it to identify and steer over 5,000 known applications. Uh, the 60F is also, oh, oh, I shouldn't say is, but also has um, application-aware routing uh, with built-in SD-WAN capabilities uh, to achieve consistent app performance and then also to provide a better user experience. So once again, clear winner of this round, 60F. And our final round, security. Now Fortinet has always focused on security. And the 60E and the 60F have a lot of very similar security features. Both of them can protect against malware, exploits, or malicious websites. Uh, both of them can inspect both encrypted and non-encrypted traffic. Uh, both of them can protect against known and emerging threats using the FortiGuard, uh, the FortiGuard Lab security service. And both of them are part of the security fabric. So in this round, I don't really have a clear winner. So I'm going to say this one is a draw. And so after four rounds, we have ourselves a new champion, the FortiGate 60F. With its blazing fast speeds, its ASIC SOC4 chip, and its advancements in secure SD-WAN, it does make it the clear winner. Now, don't get me wrong, I am not knocking the 60E. This is a great firewall. I mean, it still has decent speeds, it still has simplified SD-WAN, and it still, of course, is extremely secure. So it's still a great firewall. But if you're looking to upgrade your FortiGate device or you're just in the market for a new firewall, maybe you have a small to medium-sized office or a branch location of 25 users or less, I highly recommend checking out FortiGate 60F. Now, if you'd like to know more about really either one of these firewalls or any other Fortinet device, contact Corporate Armor today. Our security experts would be more than happy to help you find the solution that best fits your business.